welcome back to the channel. We got the wife, we got the dog, we're in the motorhome. Only means we're going camping. Let's go to Kentucky. Good morning from Kentucky. Here we are at the campsite. It's a little campsite called Blue Heron. Heron. Uh, it's in Strunk, Kentucky, I think it is. Can't really remember. <laughs> anyway, what do you think of the time last? I know it was a little bit long, but man, there was just so much amazing scenery on the way here. So, hope you enjoyed it. Let me know, because I never know if I should make the time lapse. It's 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes. You know, I see various things on other YouTubers. Some of them make, you know, like really, really long time lapses, but um here we have water here we have power and for uh the waste there's a common dump station which you have to drive over to so it's not a big deal um we're gonna be doing a train ride later check out some fall colors and that it's a small campground but um very peaceful very very peaceful here it's like you wouldn't even know anybody's here you just see trailers and that around campers so this is our spot nice and big we got fire pit picnic table and we're right on a little pond here oh good stuff man good stuff all right we're gonna go out for uh, a little bit of walk and check out some sites got the drone ready maybe put her up and, uh, see what we can get Check this place out, man. It's a little hiking trail across the street from the campground. Massive rock foundation, foundations, formations, whatever. You, look at this. Wow, this is impressive. Look at this. This is crazy. It's definitely pretty. Look. Cool little trail we found, it's like right across the street from the campsite.
Good morning, mofos from Stearns. What? <laughs> from Stearns, Kentucky. We took the uh, Big South Fork Scenic Railroad up here into the mountains to see some fall colors, maybe. And if anybody knows why this thing pops air like that, please let me know. I have no idea. Yeah, it takes you up here to a part called Bethel or Berthel Camp. It was an old coal mining camp. The only problem with this tour is you get stuck here for two hours. Oh, Barthel, yeah. The Barthel Coal Camp. So they basically rebuilt an old coal camp that was abandoned and all that. And you get to come up here and I guess you can go into a coal mine if you pay for it. But we didn't opt for that, but didn't realize that we'd be sitting here for two hours with nothing to do. Yeah, so anyhow, I'm stuck with this one here for two hours. With nothing to do. If you do this, they have a store that has some merchandise, uh, like food and snacks. It's cash only. We didn't bring any cash. So what do you think of the train ride? I like it. You like the train ride? I like the store too. The store. A lot of <coughs> oh yeah, it's a store up there that has a lot of Time Life books and some stuff like that. Old antique furnitures. Oh, you gotta keep the sun. Sorry guys, I hope they didn't wash out. Uh, yeah, really not a lot to do here. It's pretty, it's quiet, but if you do this, plan on two hours of <laughs> not much. So this is pretty cool. This is the motor house. This has the old machines that used to go into the coal mines. And look at this. Model T. A couple of Willie's Jeeps. Wow. Look at the car got the Oh, it's got train wheels. Dual train wheel. Wow. The Willie's Jeeps. Pretty cool. All right, so we made another stop after the train depot. Have a little lunch. to see this view. Wow. Isn't that something else? I think it's called the Cumberland Waterfalls, Cumberland Overlook, something like that. It's supposed to be a big waterfall, so we're going to go see if we can find it and check it out. But look at that. It's nature, man. It's beautiful. Check it out, we found the waterfall. Now, unfortunately, because this is a state or federal park, no drones allowed, so I'm gonna obey the law and not put a drone up. It sucks, really, really sucks, because I got nice new drones specifically for this, but I'm not gonna get myself in trouble either, so hopefully you enjoy like that view all right time to go back to the campground all right last day here in kentucky and if you watched us last year, we had the uh, most epic fail ever of our camping trip uh, to upstate New York where we tried to stay in a tent. It was very rainy, very windy, very cold. And I got to say, it was a whole lot nicer this year having the RV back there, having some heat, having a bed, not an air mattress that deflated on us, and not ending up in a hotel room. So this year turned out a whole lot better. What do you think? I liked it. Like I mean, I could survive in tent. wasn't that cold, but yeah, it's nice to have RV. I sleep in no tent no more. Oh, whatever. 
I don't you look care. Now it's 63 degrees. Yeah, and you know what? There ain't nothing to do in a tent. You sleep in it and then sit outside. Anyhow, yeah, this has been a this has been way better experience this year because we had the RV. One thing you guys don't think about too is like when it's, we actually had a night that was 30 degrees and think about you know you got bundled up, go to the shower, then you get yeah you're all wet and change clothes and then you come back to your tent and sleep. And, ah, we had the shower right in there. We just take a shower and two steps in bed. So even the dog appreciates it. She's like, thank you for not letting me sleep in a cold tent. Because I'm pampered pooch. Look, she even has her apostropedic bed outside. Apostropedic bed. It's really not bed. It's apostropedic. No, it's really not bed. <coughs> yeah, so, uh, not much really in the area, but you know what this is? It's inexpensive. Regular fee here is $20. So, there's a lot of turnover here. A lot of people in and out. Probably just stomping through town, need a place to spend the night, empty the storage tanks. Um, if you have a park pass like I have uh, for the National Park Service, you know they have disabled uh, discounts. And like for me, having being a veteran, uh, ten dollars a night. So we spend what five nights? Five nights here, fifty bucks. Can't argue with that. We paid more than that for one night at Ginny Springs, and that was horrible. What? We're staying six nights. Oh, six nights here? Yeah. Six nights here. Sixty bucks. For an entire week. With electricity and water and hookups. Ten dollars a night. Oh yeah, can't go can't go bad. I mean it's the colors are changing around us. What we got here wasn't too too colorful. Uh, colors have been changing. We've been watching the trees around us turn redder. A little more yellow. So yeah. Very nice, very pretty. And it's our last night here and then we gotta head home. Thank you everyone for the well wishes. Our uh, video for the uh, COVID went live. A lot of great comments. So thank you everyone. You can tell we are in good health, good spirits. We are fine. I'm fine, yes, thank you. Alright, uh, I'm gonna check back in a little bit. Alright, everyone, that's it. Pulling the jacks, about to put this thing in drive and get on out of here, head back home. It's uh, been a pretty good trip, pretty relaxing for the most part. But we did have a whole family group show up and they all had like three or four kids apiece so there's like 12 kids out here screaming but at least they were here just for a day and a half um well not yeah pretty good time colors are still constantly changing it's getting more and more vibrant every day here so i think we picked a pretty good time to come we got to watch all this happen so i'm gonna try to get home get this video posted for you as soon as possible because i know we uh you know, with the stuff going on, we haven't had that much, so hopefully you enjoy the camping. Hopefully you uh, enjoy the content. We're going to get back to Project Z28 here shortly. I've got something I need to get done for it, so thank you everyone for the well wishes. Thank you for the support. Let's see if the wife wants to say anything. The wife hasn't done her hair naked yet, so. All right, everyone. Thank you for your support. Please uh, subscribe if you haven't. Links down below if you want to support the channel, if you want some merchandise, stuff like that. Again, thank you, everyone, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.